Eric Ten Hag, the manager of Manchester United, was very happy with how Rafael Varane played in his first club game back after the World Cup. This was nine days after the World Cup final, the France player played for 113 minutes in the final loss to Argentina at the Lucille Stadium, and Varane played for 77 minutes in the 3-0 win over Nottingham Forest. Varane had offered to start because there were so many injuries on defence. Nine days had passed since the World Cup final, and Manchester United were glad that Rafael Varane went home so soon. The Frenchman was the first player from the World Cup final to play for his club team again. He did so with ease and grace, which showed how important he was to the team. Harry Maguire still isn't 100% healthy after getting a virus near the end of England's World Cup run in Qatar. Victor Lindelof missed the tournament because he was sick, and Lissandro Martinez just got back from celebrating Argentina's World Cup win in his home country. United got their sixth clean sheet in 15 Premier League games with Luke Shaw starting at centre back as part of a duo. United has only given up four goals in the league at Old Trafford, and they all happened in their first three home games. I think you always wonder what will happen after a break, Ten Hag said. We play a team whose back four players have never played together, and we have a player who has never played in a centre-back position, he means to luck Shaw. And if you win three games, don't let anyone score, and keep a clean sheet, you're happy with the game. By coming back from the World Cup, Rafa shows once again what a great person he is and what a great standard he sets for Manchester United. There was a problem at centre-back, and he stepped up to play. He did a great job, and he was once again a very important player for our team. I work within the rules, and we are very strict about keeping and controlling the rules. If everyone does their job, you give up fewer goals, the organisation is right, and that's always the foundation for winning games. Rashford gave the perfect answer to Gokpo. United says they weren't serious about signing Cody Gokpo before he signed with Liverpool, but it's clear that Ten Hag wanted him last summer and still likes him a lot. Even though it might not seem like it right now, United probably made the right choice by not spending a lot of money on another forward who prefers to play on the left. This is especially true considering that Marcus Rashford, Alejandro Garnacho, and Anthony Alanga were all on their squad list against Forrest. Rashford has been in good shape all season, and while the first team squad could use another attacker, he can't be dropped right now based on his performance. His finish for the first goal showed how confident he is, and the skill he showed before setting up Anthony Marshall for the second goal was another example of his fine technical skills. He may not be as good as Kylian Mbappe yet, but he is definitely making Gokpo feel better. Marcus Rashford hinted that he would like to keep playing on the left side of Manchester United's three-pronged attack after he was the best player in their 3-0 win over Nottingham Forest on Tuesday night. Rashford, who is 25 years old, gave Eric Ten Hag's team the lead in the 19th minute. Four minutes later, he set up Anthony Marshall. United scored a third goal by Fred in the second half, picking up where they left off before the World Cup break. Ten Hag has been a big part of Rashford getting back to his best form since he moved to Old Trafford. With his goal against Forrest, Rashford has already scored 10 goals in 21 games this season, which is twice as many as he scored all of last year. Rashford has filled in for Cristiano Ronaldo as United's number 9 this season, after Ronaldo left the club. But against Forrest, he played well on the left side, which is where he feels most comfortable. Rashford told Amazon Prime after the game, I think it depends on the other team, it depends on the personality of the other team. Most of the time, I like to play on the left, but if there's a weakness in the middle or a player I can take advantage of, I like to be able to move around and do so. I'm at ease in those spots, and I want to score goals. Every forward tries to get to a certain number, for me, it's to score more goals in a season than I've ever scored before, so I'd say 22, 23. I need to keep trying to score goals and make a difference in the games. Paul Scholes did the same thing for Manchester United that Bruno Fernandes is doing now. It's easy to get carried away with how well Manchester United's summer signings have done. This season, they have added experience, creativity, and a desire to win to the team. Many of them are at the heart of the new team that has been put together. 
There has been a huge change in the midfield in particular. Casemiro was the star of Tuesday's game against Nottingham Forest because he played so well, and Christian Eriksen shone again with the way he helped set the pace of the game in direct play. This season, those two new players have helped United a lot, and they deserve all the praise they get. However, Bruno Fernandes has been just as important, even though he hasn't gotten as much attention. The Portuguese playmaker is still the midfield maestro at Old Trafford, but he is shining in a more quiet role this season. It's a credit to United that they don't depend on him as much as they used to. People unfairly compare Fernandes to his crazy first year and a half at United, when he scored 40 goals and had 18 assists in only 80 games. The things he has done since aren't as good as what he did before, but he is still just as important to United in a different way. Now that two other world-class midfielders are playing with him, the 28-year-old is no longer the star player, and people don't expect him to win games every week by himself. Even though he can still do it, Fernandez is much happier now that he doesn't have to take risks in games to help his team win. Instead, he can take a more measured approach. He said after beating Forrest, I'm not getting as many goals and assists, but I'm playing much better and am more involved in the game than I was before. The team winning is more important. His recent comments show that he is self-aware of what seems to be a drop in form and that he still has the elite mindset that has made him so successful for United so far. Fernandez knows that he hasn't done as well this season, but in the last week he has been a key part of both wins, which numbers can't really show. He passed like Paul Scholes to find Aaron Juan Bissaka for the first goal against Burnley, which was scored by Juan Bissaka. He should have had two assists against Forrest, but Anthony and Anthony Marshall both missed their shots. Given how often he's worn the armband this season, Fernandez is essentially the new club captain. He leads the team not only with how he plays as a midfielder but also with how he acts in general. The former star of sporting is still a loud presence on the field. He gives his teammates orders all the time, which is true since he is now willing to do the dirty work himself. Even though he still likes to make high risk, high reward plays like Skulls, he only does so after he has earned enough credits through his aggressive style. Against Forrest, this showed up as a risky Rabona pass to Fred in the last few minutes of the game and an ambitious first-time shot from a long distance that almost lobbed Wayne Hennessy as he was running away. They were two impressive skills that not many players would try, and they showed how sure he is of his own skills. Just as impressive were the key interceptions he made in the first half and the strong sliding tackles he made, which helped United gain a foothold in the game while it was still close. I'm so happy with this victory, guys. They played very well. Thank you for watching.